Nicely done, Greg. Good recovery. Hard on the hands, too, though, the chill of space seeping in despite thick space gloves. But then came a job that was not on the checklist. Exposed to the sun's unfiltered rays, Hubble has developed a nasty case of sunburn, with many of her vital insulation panels peeling badly. We thought we'd be covering a small pinhole somewhere, and now we're going to be covering damaged uh, material. So, using spare sheets of insulating foil from the shuttle's own supplies, the astronauts began some impromptu patchwork quilting, possibly the last thing they expected when they joined NASA. It doesn't look like it, Steve, but this is hard work. But worth it. Now an unscheduled fifth spacewalk has been ordered for only the second time ever in one mission. The shuttle's proving itself as the space repair truck, bar none. Ben Ando, ITN. The head teacher of the murdered teenager, Billy Joe Jenkins. The outer layer of Teflon has split and peeled away. The fierce ultraviolet radiation from the sun has caused the damage. At a news conference, NASA explained what they've found. The telescope is not covered with damage very important point. Half of the telescope doesn't face the sun, and it's fine. So that's 50%. If you look at this side, you see the little green tags? Those are the areas where we have damage. Mission Control faxed the astronauts five pages of instructions and 14 diagrams to show them how to do the repairs. The astronauts are using makeshift patches of insulating foil to cover the damaged areas. The patches are being fastened with alligator clips, electrical wire and nylon rope attached to handrails and footholds. What do you think? Like it. Looks good from here. In the final spacewalk early tomorrow morning, they'll complete the job. It's only a temporary measure. Another servicing mission is planned for two years' time when they'll make more permanent repairs. The mission has achieved all it set out to do. NASA is delighted with the way it's gone. James Wilkinson, BBC News. England's cricketers will go in.